Hey guys, welcome back to Texas Digital Gaming. Now, what we're going to do in this video is go ahead and break down a run through using the asset editor to unpack the game files for State of Decay 2. Now, if you want to create your own mods, either cooked or packs, you'll have to do this process. You have to have access to the actual asset files in order to do anything that we do on the modding discord. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and head over to the modding discord and download the asset editor, which we are going to do right now. All right, so once you're here, I'm going to go ahead and assume that you guys have been here before and you already know to read through the rules. And of course you have access to the server after that. So all you're going to want to do, the only thing we need from here right now is just scroll down until you find basic modding information. Go ahead and go there. And you just want to scroll up a little bit until you find the asset editor from Elos. He'll always have the most recent version posted here. Go ahead and click that, download it to your hard drive, and we'll move on from there. I right, know the first thing I would actually suggest that you do is go ahead and create a folder for the files that you're going to extract from the packs. And there are quite a few of them, so you want to make sure that you do have plenty of extra hard drive space on your PC. Otherwise, you're going to cause yourself some major headaches, and it's just not worth it. But you're going to need right around 18 gig or so of extra hard drive space. There's a lot of files that's going to unpack, and it is going to take some time, so make sure that you're patient. So we're going to go ahead and create a new folder. And for the sake of this, we will name it Dump Windows. Okay, and as you can see, there's nothing in it. That's how we want it. And next, you're gonna to wanna to head and go ahead and open the asset editor from wherever it is that you downloaded it. And go ahead and run it as administrator. Otherwise, when you impact the file sometimes, it'll give you an error saying that it doesn't have access. Now, all you're gonna do from here is click on functions, unpack game assets, Now, if you have Windows, you're going to come down to Program Files, Modifiable Windows Apps, State of Decay 2, State of Decay 2 again, Content, and you'll see the Packs folder right here. The only thing you want to do is just select it once so it's highlighted. Click open and you'll see all the packs in here for the game files. Don't click on anything, just go ahead and click open again. And this next pop-up is actually asking you where do you want to extract these files to. And of course we're going to go ahead and put those in the folder that we created. Go ahead and open it up, make sure that you're actually inside of it and click open. And as you can see, the game is now unpacking. This is what you want to see. It is going to take a while. So go ahead, do what you have to do. Do not close out the editor or anything like that. Just let it run. And I have seen it on some PCs take upward of 20 to 25 minutes. Most of the time, it'll get done in 10 to 15 minutes or so. So just be patient, let it do its thing, and we'll come back to it in a second. All right. So, when the game is done unpacking, you will notice that it's come to a close. It'll tell you unpacking is complete. Press any key to close this window. Note that clicking the X button will also close the Asset Editor app. Now, you can go ahead and click whichever you want to go. Just go ahead and close it out. And that's it. You're done. There's nothing else left to do there. The game is unpacked. If you want to actually see the files, you can go ahead and bring it up. And you'll notice now that you have three folders in here. Engine file open order instead of the K2. The game assets that for the most part you are going to want to be editing are always going to be in state of the K2, which you can open up. They'll be in content. And these will be all the different areas of the game that you have access to now. Now if you happen to be on the Steam version instead of Microsoft, you're going to do the same process, but of course you'll have to find your Steam directory instead of Microsoft. But you'll still go to Functions, Unpack Game Assets, 
locate wherever it is you have your Steam directory. Mine, personally, I just have it under the actual main C drive path in Steam games, but then you'll go to Steam apps, and then common, state of decay 2, state of decay 2, content, and there's your packs. And just like with Microsoft, you'll just select it once so it's highlighted, click open, and open again. And then of course it'll ask you where you want to extract the files to. You click open and it will start the dump from there. But that's going to wrap it up guys. And don't forget there is a world of knowledge at your fingertips on the Discord. So if you have any questions at all, do not hesitate to go over there, ask us, pick our brains for a while. Hop into a VC with a modder. We are more than happy to share any knowledge that we have with you. There is a lot of info floating around. Other than the videos and the screenshots and the posts that all of us put up there every day, there's a ton that can be learned if you actually just take the time to start engaging with the community and talking. But that's going to be it for now. Um, I will put up another video sometime later on in the next hour or two that is going to basically just do a run-through of modding either a ranged or melee weapon. Maybe even both. That way you know what the file structure looks like. And you'll know what the basic kind of a step-by-step -step process is if you want to go ahead and create a weapon that, say, never loses ammo or durability and is extremely OP. But that's going to wrap it up. So until next time, guys, this is Texas Digital Gaming. Out. Yeah.